Hey guys, we are here at Audio Device Live 2024. I'm here in the Martin Logan room with Andrew Lindsay. Andrew, you guys have some really cool products you're showcasing here at the show. Tell us what you've got in this room and then we'll go downstairs and take a look at some more products. Awesome, yeah, we've got a lot upstairs actually. So can't tell from the picture, this is just a, a hotel room yeah. uh, where there normally be a like a queen size bed, but we've packed it with all kinds of great speakers. So behind us, we've got our B100 that came out last year. So this would be the bookshelf counterpart uh, to the F200s mm -hmm. that you've got at home. Um, and all new for this year that we just uh, released this week is the all new Abyss 8 subwoofer. Yeah. Uh, these things are awesome. The, I just love them. They're so small, so powerful and clean. I think they're just gonna be a hit for anyone looking for a compact sub that actually has, you know, the rightfully deserves the name subwoofer. Sure. Yeah, these things are great. So we had a chance to listen to this literally just a few minutes ago. Yeah. And it's funny, Rusty behind the camera, he said, honestly, I did not expect that. <laughs> like that was more than, and again, we're not in a massive room. This room's probably what, maybe 12 foot wide? Yeah. 13 foot by deep, 14. something like that. No, not so it's not bad. a big room, maybe eight foot ceilings. So that might be very similar to a lot of my listeners' living room yep. or a bedroom setup. Yep. So these eights, what are, we, what are we looking at in that subwoofer? Yeah, so Abyss 8 has a forward-firing aluminum 8-inch woofer, mm -hmm. uh, which on its own is, a, is an excellent driver. Yeah. But it's augmented by two passive radiators on the side, also made of aluminum. So they all look the same, but the two on the side are actually the passives. So mm -hmm. we're, we're calling it a hybrid woofer system okay. here. And that does a few things for us. One, it gives us a lot more grunt on the low end, mm -hmm. but it gives you that extra output and low distortion of a ported sub okay. without having a large cabinet. Because all, all of our subwoofers are designed to blend into people's rooms in a way to where it's not you know, a giant refrigerator that's there. <laughs> sure. It's very compact. So we get the output of a ported design mm -hmm. with the small tight size of a sealed design yeah. and that nice clean roll off of a, of a sealed subwoofer. Yeah, well Andrew, there's no doubt, wife acceptance factor is real. True. I know Jessica, our little agreement at our home is you can have speakers, but you can't have subwoofers because you got those in the yeah. theater room. Yeah. And probably a lot of you guys are at home going, yeah, I can relate to that. Mama doesn't want, big old box in their living room. What I love about this system and these new subwoofers, they are very, very compact. They are, they are. I mean, we're not much farther than the actual driver itself. Mm -hmm. So if you got an eight inch driver, you're probably looking at maybe 10 or 12 inches wide. Yeah. So there's not a lot of extra cabinet space. And by adding those dual uh, passive drivers on the, on the sides, that gives you even more output. And mm -hmm. these have a pretty massive uh, coal, I mean, um, rubber surround. Yeah. So do we get a lot of excursion oh, out of these? A, it's a beefy little driver for sure. Yeah, and, and to contain all that, uh, the cabinet's actually a one inch thick uh, MDF cabinet okay. with extra bracing on all the woofer baffles. So the cabinet is super heavy because this is a small sub by all measures. Yeah. Weighs 46 pounds. Okay, that's wow. A, that's, a <laughs> that's a beefy little sub. For eight inch, yeah. Um, and there's all sorts of great details on the side. So we've got an all new amplifier platform that okay. we're calling Magnitude. Mm -hmm. uh, this one actually has a thousand watt amplifier wow. inside. So wow. it's able to deliver quite a bit uh, on the ready. Sure. And then uh, it's kind of hard to tell from, from this angle, but you can see the subwoofer looks like it's floating off the floor a Correct. little bit. Yeah. There's a plinth on the bottom okay. and it has four anti vibration feet. So nice. It kind of reduces that vibration transfer from, from those woofers uh, going into the floor, giving you better sound, but also in the hopes that it, it, it uh, reduces complaints by you know people in adjoining rooms sure. or maybe neighbors. It just keeps the rattles down. So better sound, less complaints. I mean, who wouldn't want that, right? Yeah. And in here, you're running dual subs. Why would you run dual we subs? Well, we started with one. Sounded awesome. Um, you know, room acoustics are always a challenge. You ask anybody that's been in the industry or yeah. anyone who dials in systems, there's a huge difference between yeah. a system that's set up and a system that's set up properly. Sure. Uh, and just because of the acoustics of this room to smooth out the response right. for you know, what we've got here, yeah, which is six, six chairs, seats, yeah. it just measured a lot smoother with two, yeah. and we had it. So one, sure. one, it, it looks symmetrical now, yeah. it looks really nice. But yeah. uh, you certainly wouldn't need to to get good volume out of it, but this just yeah. really smoothed out that response for yeah, us. Yeah, and I've always shared with you guys, having multiple subs allows you to get a smoother bass response so you don't have these dips or these peaks as much right. in each seat. So if the wife is sitting here and you're sitting here, she's getting the same feeling and tactile response yeah. as you are in your seat. 
And if you got multiple rows, sometimes you need even more subs than that, placing four around the room, dialing that in. Um, now, speaking of dialing it in, you yeah. got this cool little app oh, that sure. I love, yeah. man. Yeah, I've got it right here. Yep. Uh, and actually, the, one of the other reasons is this uh, Anthem STR uh, integrated amp, we can run stereo subs. So this okay. is actually set up true left and right. Oh, nice. Kind of cool. Yeah. So this is actually the app. It's right. the, uh, the same app that we have on the uh, prior Dynamo mm -hmm. series, but it's just so intuitive. Yeah. Uh, you know, not, not that you mess with the sub all the time, but when you do, it could not be easier. Yeah. Um, so I love that I can just go in and adjust the volume. You know, mm -hmm. we're only having to run these at about 40% to, okay. to get good output out of it. Sure. I've got three different DSP presets. Right. Movie for that extra slam, music for the best articulation, mm -hmm. and night for, um, well, not mess, <laughs> not not uh, uh, angering everybody else in the house at night. Right. Uh, and then all the advanced settings from yeah. phase to low pass filter. Uh, I've got a 20 and 30 hertz adjustment so I can give it even more grunt on the uh -huh. bottom. It's just incredible. So, um, you know, I find that a lot of people, when you're setting up a sub, if you don't have a helper to start yeah. messing with knobs on the sure. back of the sub, yeah. it is one of the most tedious processes yeah. you can go through. And you should always make adjustments from where you're listening. Yeah. Because if I'm back here fiddling sure. with the knob, yeah. and all of a sudden it sounds great, that doesn't mean anything. <laughs> exactly. It doesn't mean that's going to be what's happening at the seat. So yeah. it's just the most convenient way to control and tune a subwoofer. Yeah. One thing I love about Martin Logan and Anthem as well is you just make beautiful products. Thank and you. I even see that in your app. Yeah. Inside the app, it's just well designed. It's well laid out. It's super easy to use. So it's user friendly. Everything just makes sense. I always hate it when I'm using an app and I'm going, okay, where where do I go to adjust the right. crossover? Where do I go right. to to do this? And and it's just it's simple and easy to use. But there's just a ton packed into that little app. It gives you a lot of features. And one of the cool features is a test tone yeah. sweep. Yeah. So yeah. you literally can hit a button. And, it, and you can define what those frequencies are? Yep, you can start the sweep, and I'll just pull it right back up. So I can start the sweep on the sub behind me. I don't know what it'll sound like on camera, but oh. it's sweeping from 120 down to 20, and then it goes back up again. And the intent is that I can pause it, because now there's an AC vent or something rattling in here. I can go fix that, and then continue on the way and just find whatever frequency in the room is causing that problem. That's cool. Also, you can do yeah, quick DJ sets. Yeah, who knows if you can hear us. I think you still can. A little quick flash DJ, oh, you know. But yeah, it's a, <laughs> it's a great useful tool because if you've ever had yeah. a rattle in yeah. your room, because we get customers emailing us, sure. say, on this one scene, mm -hmm. in this particular movie, there's this weird noise I'm right. hearing. And, and they think it's the subwoofer. Yeah, it's like, no, like, it's your room. <laughs> yeah, it's glasses at the bar, it's yeah. dishes in the cabinet, yeah. it's a Can picture lights. frame. You may notice there's some acoustic foam shoved in this picture frame behind us because yeah. it was just shaking like crazy. Sure. Um, so it's just a nice tool to help you uh, solve those problems. Yeah, so Andrew, I see that we've got an eight inch here. Uh -huh. Are there other sizes and do we have um, different finishes. Yeah, we do. These. So uh, the eight inch is available in satin white, which you see here, mm -hmm. obviously, yep. and gloss black. Okay. Now Abyss does come in a larger model, the Abyss Ten. Nice. It's only available in the gloss black. Okay. So the smallest ones are are available in satin white. Sure. Uh, but yeah, that that one uh, does have a bigger brother. Okay. So if you need more output, or maybe you mm -hmm. have a bigger room, that'd probably be a better yep. option. Plays a little lower, has a little more output capability, because this one's got a 1,000 watt amp, mm -hmm. the 10 has a 1,600 watt amp, so okay. it's got, got some more grunt behind so it. So bigger drivers, bigger woofer, a little bit bigger cabinet as little well. A little bit bigger. But the but good thing, like I said, they're, man, they're just the profile is really tight, not much bigger than the driver yeah. itself. I mean, this 8 is barely over a 13 inch cube from all outer dimensions. It's, yeah. ti it's tiny. So what are we looking at price point here? So Abyss 8 is $11.99. Okay. And then Abyss 10, $16.99. All right. Okay, so we've got the Abyss series. Yes. But you also got some more subwoofers you we brought did. We, to the show. We came locked and loaded to the show. <laughs> so 
Uh, so Abyss, uh, you know, 20 years ago when we launched the original Abyss, it was the bigger, more powerful version of Dynamo. Okay. Now it's the smaller, more powerful version of Dynamo. Okay. So we do have an all-new Dynamo series. Um, so that's it's over here. Uh, we have a 10-inch and a 12-inch model. Okay. Uh, same amplifier power, so the 10 uses a thousand, and sure. then the 12 uses a 1600 watt amp. Okay. But it's just a single driver. Right. That doesn't have the passives that the Abyss series does. Okay. So that model, uh, all the same features, mm -hmm. all the same inputs and outputs. It's just a little bit cheaper. Okay. So 9.99 for the 10. Nice. And 14.99 for the 12. Okay, so a little bit less output. Yeah, especially on the bottom bottom okay. range. So okay. uh, this is really going to dig down low with that high output. Yeah. So for movie enthusiasts that are really looking for that that gut wrenching mm -hmm. bass, as much as they can get out sure. of these compact sizes, the Abyss is the choice. Yeah, Dynamo is an extremely well balanced product. Sounds incredible. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and it's also an aesthetic choice. They yeah. look very different. Yeah. Um, so yeah, they're. It's we really w are wanting to make a subwoofer for for everybody. Sure, you know a lot. A lot of times you'll see, well, the eight looks just like the ten, which looks like the twelve, which looks like the fifteen. Right. There's not a lot of variety. It's yeah. the spice of life. So we we changed it up. So each series has a unique look and a unique sound, unique features. Um, you know, they're they're just loaded to the gills with things. So you still get the anti vibration feet. You get mm -hmm. that beautiful one inch cabinet. Um, but there's a ton of inputs and outputs on these things too that we can take a look at as well. Okay. Well, how about we take a look at that now? Yeah, let's do that. So, Michael, we talked about inputs and outputs, and I just want to kind of walk through the connectivity of these new subs because they are just loaded. Uh, so, just kind of moving from the right. Uh, so, obviously, we've got volume knob on the back on here, and it's LED backlit. We don't have it powered up, but. Uh, it's a very cool looking knob. You know, a lot of enthusiasts are in, into the volume knobs, but these things are uh, awesome when they're lit up. But you may see a couple little things that are special down here. So we were talking about the tone sweep earlier. We do have that built into the back plate of the subwoofer. So uh, even without the app or access to the app, you can trigger that functionality right on the back plate. And we do have a QR code right on the back plate that tells you to download the app. So we're trying to make it very clear that um, that is the easiest way to control these subwoofers. Okay. And then moving along, we do have uh, our power mode. So we have always on, we have 12 volt trigger, and we have voltage sensing. Most people are going to use automatic mode, uh, but you know a lot of times with the advanced processors out there, uh, people really enjoy that 12 volt trigger functionality. Sure. So that's definitely included. And then here's where we get to the cool part. So on connectivity, I've got uh, of course, LFE, but very rarely do you see XLR LFE yeah. on a product at this price point because Dynamo starts at $9.99. Right. So I have the option of RCA or XLR LFE input. Okay. I have stereo RCA input, and I also have uh, high level input as well. Right. Um, so all you need is banana plugs, and you can plug this into essentially any system. And what's special about our electronics is these are all active, so I can actually use any combination of these inputs if I like. So a lot of times, uh, well, I wouldn't say a lot of times, but sometimes we have multiple sets of electronics plugged into our subwoofers. So if I have a, a multi-purpose music or home theater system, I can actually connect both of those at the same time. Uh, or if I want to wire uh, my front left and right speakers in, with high level and run LFE, I right. can do that. Okay. So we just give you a lot of functionality here. And one thing that you can't see, but you might see reference to here is wireless audio. Nice. So built in, we actually have the wireless receiver and we include a wireless transmitter in the box. So if you can't get a sub cable where you need it, it actually has wireless connectivity built in. So out of the box, I can connect this to an AV receiver or another piece of electronics without actually having to run, run a sub cable. And it's completely lossless, um, so it's extremely high quality. Of course, being wireless, there is a little more latency than using a hardwire connection. But this is just an amazing amount of functionality because that's usually an add-on option uh, for most subwoofers. So we did bring that back. That was a feature that we had on uh, an older Dynamo subwoofer, the 700W, and it's back. So from wireless to any uh, physical connection you can think of, we've got it. So Andrew, we've looked at the Abyss, which is the yep. top of your new releases. We've checked out the Dynamo, which falls kind of in the middle, mm -hmm. but you also have one other series, but it's not in this room, correct? We do. So why don't we go downstairs and we can actually check out the whole line.
All right, Andrew, I'm already seeing something I like. <laughs> These are your entry level of the new series. Yes and they still look gorgeous. They're not yes. just a plain box. Tell us about these. Yeah, so uh, you know, last year we introduced an entry-level motion product, the Motion Foundation. This is now the Dynamo Foundation. Okay. So this is the start of our subwoofer lineup right. that leads up to Dynamo and Abyss, right? Okay. So Dynamo Foundation 10 is the new entry level, so 10-inch driver, aptly named, right? right. Uh, yeah, you, you notice the, the aesthetics. Yes, this is know. beautiful. This was really a big focus for us that, uh, you know, especially at these price points, this, this might not be a person that, that's extremely well versed in all the different subwoofers out there. Sure. And aesthetics, especially, might be incredibly important. Yeah. Because uh, especially for a first system, it needs to blend into the decor. So sure. we felt this was a very handsome design, very stylish. Uh, there's no grill, so it's right. very pet, kid friendly. There's no cloth to mess sure. with. So you I'm know, assuming it's down firing. It's a down firing okay. design. Uh, so nice, nice and simple with excellent sound quality and actually quite a bit of power. So okay. this is actually a 400 watt 10 inch woofer. Sure. And then the, the bigger brother, the 12, okay. is a 700 watt 12 inch. So got it. it's lots of power, incredible performance. You know, we've got an incredible DSP inside. It doesn't have some of the higher end features like room correction or right. app control or sure. wireless, but for their price point, it is an incredible performing product. Right. So we're just trying to get them in the door, get some subwoofers because we know that whether you got a two channel setup or a home theater system, my opinion, all of those need a subwoofer, at Absolutely. least one. Absolutely, at least one, right? And especially at a $499 price point, that's a very accessible way. Just maybe I start with one and I can add a second one later. Maybe I go to four, who knows, right? <laughs> but but yeah, it's definitely a product that's easy to, to get into and just an awesome sound. Andrew, we've got this beautiful display here yes. showing each side by side. What are we looking at? Yeah, so this is the whole new subwoofer lineup that we just announced at the show. So starting at the top, we've got the new Abyss 10, which right. is the one we mentioned uh, up in the other room. So here it is in the flesh next to the Abyss 8. So you can see it's a, a small difference in size, sure. but, but it is noticeable. Right. I mean, you can see the beefy 8 versus the beefy 10, right? Right. So we've got the two different Abyss models. Again, the Abyss 8 also available in that beautiful satin white finish, right? And then as we move down the line, uh, this is the, the two new Dynamo models. Right. So this is the larger one we didn't get to see upstairs. Okay. This is the new Dynamo 12 next to the Dynamo 10. And then, of course, the Dynamo 10 also available in that gorgeous satin white finish. Yeah. So really the, the point of comparison would be the smaller Dynamo 10 and the smaller Dynamo 8, or right. Abyss 8, big Dynamo 12 and the Abyss 10. So why would I want one over the other? Well, there's definitely a difference in aesthetics. Right. Me personally, yeah. I love this I trend think this band. Is cool. I think it looks cool. Yeah. Uh, definitely inspired by our new Motion Series products, but I think you can put that next to anything and it's going to look awesome. And I, uh, I even love this, you know, the silver. It looks silver, at, le at least in here, like yes, aluminum. It is, it okay. is. All the woofers are aluminum. We've got black anodized on the black model. Okay. We've got silver anodized on the white model. Uh, we do have the woofer grills. Uh, we just have them off to show yeah, yeah. off the, uh, the goods underneath. Yeah. But yeah, they all have that, that beautiful uh, uh, no grill pin attachment that, that our motion has. And it just looks so clean, either grills on or grills off. And then last but not least, the motion or uh, sorry, Dynamo Foundation uh, down at the end here. So yeah, that's that's the whole new 2024 lineup here. So Andrew, I'm super excited. There's a lot of functionality, a lot of features that you pack into your sub. And what we heard upstairs, there's a lot of punch, even oh, in yeah. the smallest one. It's not the yeah. entry level, but the smallest form factor, that is super, super great. Well guys, we're gonna leave links down in the description to all of these models. Hope you check them out. At least consider them for maybe your office, your bedroom, your living room. You put these just about anywhere. They're gonna look great and they're gonna sound great. Andrew, always a pleasure, sir. Awesome. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Take care, God bless, and we'll catch you in the next video.